Hey, welcome to Easy Payroll Guy. My name is Karen Hutchinson, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to calculate Social Security taxes. The Social Security tax is a tax that is paid by both the employee and the employer. This means that a portion of the tax is withheld from the employee's paycheck, and the other portion of the Social Security tax is paid by the employer. 6.2% of the employee's taxable income is subject to the Social Security tax. That means that you will withhold this amount from their paycheck and pay it to the IRS on their behalf. You will remit these payments either on a monthly or a semi-weekly basis depending on your particular pay schedule. Your company is also responsible for half of the Social Security payment. That means that you are responsible for the other 6.2%. The total Social Security payment is 12.4%, and that is split between the employer and the employee. You can calculate the Social Security tax by using these percentages. So let's say that you have an employee who has taxable wages of $5,000 for the month. You would calculate the Social Security tax as follows. You can calculate it and break it down by employee and employer, or you can just find the total payment that is due. The employee portion is 6.2% of the gross taxable wages. So assuming that all $5,000 is taxable, you would multiply that amount by 0.062 and that would give you a total of $310. Because for this year the, the Social Security tax is split and is equal between the employee and the employer, that means that the employer would also have to pay $310. So the total payment is 310 times 2 which is $620. You can also arrive at this amount by taking 5,000 and multiplying it by 0.124, which is 12.4%. And you would still end up with the $620. So when you pay your 941 payment through EFTPS, you would remit your payment for $620 because you'll be paying the employee portion that you withheld from their paycheck and the portion that you owe as well. So you will pay them together. So this is pretty easy to calculate. Again, it's 12.4% total, 6.2% from the employee, and 6.2% from the employer. There is a maximum wage limit for Social Security taxes. The Social Security tax is only taxed on the first $117,000. This has gone up from the year 2013 when it was $113,700. So this means that you will tax Social Security on the first $117,000. If your employee makes more than $117,000, then the additional will not be taxed for Social Security purposes. Now, there are a few types of payment that are exempt from Social Security and Medicare wages. So what you would need to do is to go to Publication 15, take a look at pages 36 through 40 to determine if any of the compensation that you've paid to your employee is not exempt from Social Security. And most wages are, but there are a few that aren't. So you might want to check that out. I hope this has helped you to calculate Social Security taxes. Thank you for visiting Easy Payroll Guide.